Between choosing a vendor, picking a venue, and keeping up with costs, planning a wedding can be overwhelming if you don't have any help. Hi, I'm Maddie Addicts, and today we are thrilled to have Lori Spike from A Splendid Event joining us. She has helped over 1,000 couples through the wedding planning process, and she is here to tell us just how she does it. So how did you get your start in the bridal industry? I actually started in the fashion industry first, okay. and I started doing, um, believe it or not, bridal shows and um, uh, fashion shows for JCPenney's bridal wear oh. and tuxedos back, back a long time ago. Uh, and then I had some friends who were getting married and they just kept pushing me and pushing me, please do this, please do this, please do this. And um, so I started, I just started organizing their weddings. And by my second year, I'd done 16 weddings. Um, I'd been going up to the colleges and meeting with the girls and then doing their weddings. And they actually paid me a little bit of money. It was way before we got popular, um, before you know anybody could be a wedding planner or right. just working with um, brides and grooms. So I really enjoyed it. And the fact that my dad and mother both worked at the church, um, I had an end um, doing the coordinating and, at the church. And so it just kind of grew and grew. And that started in 1985. So when did you open a splendid event? So I opened a splendid event in 2009. Okay. Um, I had done corporate planning for years um, for a Fortune 500 company. Right. And then I went to work nationally for a nationally wedding planning and vendor company that trained vendors. Um, my daughter got engaged and then said, Mom, it's just time. I want, want to build a business with you. And so Chrissy and I built our business. So we actually named something that we've been doing for so many years together. We put a name on it and opened our doors in 2009. Oh, that's great. What services do you offer to couples at a splendid event? You know, our services are so vast these days. Um, I think you have to be everything to the brides um, because they really depend on us. So we actually, of course, we offer vendor referral services, full wedding planning, uh, day of, month of, uh, linens. We have great services for linens, florals. Um, I grew up with a mother who was a florist, so I like to dabble every once in a while. <laughs> um, but we, uh, we also have an on-site florist that works directly for me. And then we also just added an officiant. Coming from a family in the ministry, we were able to add an officiant because we saw so many brides that couldn't find one. Um, so we decided to bring an officiant on with us. Y'all do everything. We do. We, <laughs> we really, our goal in the next five years is to be a complete one-stop shop. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank so you. how far in advance does a bride need to contact you? I wish she would call me the second she gets the ring right after she calls her mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's not always true though. I have planned weddings um, as far as two years out. Um, we just did a huge Asian wedding and the girl called me three weeks before. It was 950 oh. guests and we planned it from start to finish. Wow. Um, and that was great. So, you know, if, if you call me when you get your ring, that's great. But if, you know, you, you want to do it on your own and call me at the last minute, um, if we're available, we'd be glad to jump in. And, you know, I have several team members that are trained. So. Okay. What's your favorite part of working with the bride? You know, I think it's just getting to know them and hearing that love story. Um, I've always been very much into the epic love story. And every bride, regardless who she is, what her background is, has a once-in-a-lifetime love story. Hers is different from anybody else's. So we really love to know that love story and then to bring it to life to family and friends. Um, so uh, to me, a wedding is just about a movie. You're just presenting what the two of you have gone through all these years and giving it in a story with maybe your favorite color, maybe your favorite food, but it's just sharing with family and friends. And so that's what I really love about it. And you know, so many of our brides become our family afterwards. And several of my brides have come to work for me. Oh, wow. um, after they've after they've been my brides, I have three now on staff that are uh, full time with me. That's so fun that you yeah. get to keep up with them. Yeah. yeah, I love them. I do. I do their baby showers. Oh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I do the baby showers. I do anniversary parties. So you know, I really get to be a part of their family. I've gone to gradu graduations with their husbands or they've graduated from college, so it's been fun. Yeah. Um, how often do you work with the couple throughout the process? Well, you know, we try to really meet with a couple once a month. Okay. I, I think that gives them, you know, the security that we're behind them 100%. Okay. The second part of that is I don't want them to feel that they can't contact me or that our door isn't open to them, regardless if they're a month our full planning, um, we let them know that our door is always open. If they have an etiquette question, if they just have that freak out moment and we just need to meet at Starbucks for some tears and coffee, um, we're there for them. So our brides can contest, contact us anytime. From the moment they sign the contract, we're part of their lives. 
So what are some of the newest trends you're seeing right now in the bridal industry? Oh my gosh, over the last <laughs> six months, my phone has blown up with um, home and ranch and farm weddings and private settings. So a lot of our bride and grooms are choosing to get married um, where they grew up or where their parents grew up or a farm that their grandparents have owned. Um, oh. It's just been amazing. We just had a call two weeks ago um, from a bride in Italy that is coming here to get married at her grandfather's land and in an airplane hangar. So we're so excited about that. Oh, that's I know. So we're fun. so excited <laughs> about that. We have just been out there three times in a week just trying to figure out how much fun we're going to have with the decor and bringing where she's been living and the Texas theme into it. So that's really what we're seeing. A lot of the girls are really wanting to get married, maybe some where their grandparents got married 50 or 60 years ago. And can you imagine getting married someplace that your grandparent got married <sighs> and your children will be raised there? That, that would be amazing. So that's really what we've been seeing, and we love it. We, we just we love doing it. We love the tents and the tears and the hubbub and even the heat. <laughs> <laughs> even Texas heat. Even Texas heat, yeah. <laughs> so what are some mistakes that brides make the day of their wedding that a day of coordinator could really help with? Yeah, I think they try to do too much. Okay. Um, you know, they want to be, they want to be hands-on, which is great. Um, they want to be the host at their wedding instead of the guest. And we see them trying to run around and tell the caterer what to do, or they pass it off to somebody who maybe is not as experienced or has the knowledge of what to do or knows what an A, B, C, or D plan is or that just-in-case plan. So I really think that's the one thing that most brides do. That, And then when you talk to them later, they say, oh, I wish I would have had somebody like you. Um, you know, I hear that 100% of the time. So, it, Or they just try to do have too much decor and they want to put it out themselves or they want a family member and it just doesn't work like that. You're exhausted by the end of the night. By the time yeah. you're walking down the aisle, you just want to go home. You know, you just want to go home. So I say pass it off to somebody like myself, a professional experienced wedding planner who has the contacts of the amazing vendors here in the Houston area and who knows what to do in that emergency because we all have emergencies right and if you have somebody that knows what to do then you don't have to worry about it and your day is a lot less stressful be a guest at your wedding have fun that's a great way to look at it yeah, yeah. yeah. what is one of the most unique weddings you have planned throughout your career so I wouldn't say most unique, but very epic. Okay. Um, I just recently in April actually did the Wounded Warrior Wedding. Um, wow. I know. It was a, it was a volunteer situation. Um, okay. I had uh, another vendor come to me and say, hey, I met this couple that came into my store. They have a remarkable love story, and I know how you are about a love story. He had done three tours of duty in Afghanistan. On his fourth oh, tour, um, he stepped on a mine, and he lost both of his legs. Um, Will is one of the most amazing men I've ever met in my life. Um, Will um, woke up in the hospital and his nurse, um, when he tried to get out of bed, picked him up and put him back to bed. Will, during this process, lost his, his not only his legs but lost his family and his children because his, his wife did not want to deal with what his injuries were. Um, and through the process of four years, going from hospital to hospital, the woman who picked him up out of the bed and put him back in the bed when he was hurt, her name is Sophia, and somehow they always ended up at the same hospital throughout the world without either one of them knowing. Um, by the third time, he had told her he was divorced, and they started falling in love. So this April, I had the opportunity with 26 other vendors in our beautiful city volunteering to give cakes and venues and linens and bring them all together to give this couple a well-deserved wedding. Um, he's an American hero, and so is she. She's an army, an army nurse, and he's an American hero. Um, it was... I still get goosebumps. I can't talk about it, as you know, without crying. Um, it's 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 just something of a story that nobody has ever been able to write to this day that could be true, and it's true. And they're a beautiful couple. That is incredible that Thank all you. of y'all came together and did yeah, that. It was for great. Them. I can't I can't take a lot of credit for it, but I want to tell you there was a lot of people that put hundreds of hours into this, and they were such a grateful couple, and they got this, the love story, they got their love story told, and most important, they got the wedding of their dreams. Oh, that's amazing. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so if there's one tip you can give to our brides during the wedding planning process, yeah. what would it be? Hire a wedding planner, Okay, number one, <laughs> and do your budgets, ladies. 
So, and when you do a budget, break it down. How much you're going to spend on everything. We've had brides that have a ten thousand dollar budget and will spend seven thousand on a dress. Doesn't leave much for food no. and venue. So, but my main my main tip to you is reach out to somebody like me, even if it's just for an initial consultation, where I can help you get started, and you can come back around and maybe use me later if you just feel too overwhelmed. Absolutely, yeah. Hi, I'm Lori Spike with a Splendid Event. I'm co-owner. I've been in business since 2009 here in the Houston area. I have 30 years of experience wedding planning and corporate planning. We actually provide full planning, design services, linens, florals, and we've just added an officiant to our. I would love it when you, if you contact me right after you call your mom and tell her you said yes. But in any case, you can contact me at any time during the planning process, obviously. Um, the sooner the better because we want to make sure that you are relaxed on your wedding day. Well, you can contact me at asplendidevent.net and my phone number is 832-814-4019. We'd love to hear from you.